Hello, good evening uh, everyone. Uh, welcome to this week's Traders Club. Uh, I'm Gerald. Right, uh, yeah, so as per this morning's announcement, right, we are now, oh, Singapore is now in the technical recession. Uh, so you can see, uh, but the good thing is that the STI uh, is still finding some support. Right, uh, but I just want to highlight that the market has been pretty flat and the bullishness that we were expecting to hold uh, couldn't continue. Yeah, so uh, be more uh, cautious in your uh, buying. All right, so not many opportunities to long as well. So I think this is uh, reflective of the current market situation. Uh, but there are some stocks uh, that we can still look out for for opportunity. So I'll try and highlight this uh, evening session. Uh, at the same time, uh, I also just look at uh, those stocks, right? That uh, like the banks and the, those electronics uh, sector. Yeah, see those stocks. Uh, if you are holding, uh, what what can you do? Or if you are trying to enter uh, at a lower price, what you can. Do. All right. Okay. So let's take a look at uh, STI first. Yeah. So this STI, yeah, we came down ten points. Yeah, not too bad <laughs> with a news of a uh, technical recession. Right, but uh, I think the market is really pricing uh, partially. Okay, but nevertheless, uh, we look up for the market's uh, support. All right. So as you can see over here, uh, the 2050 MA support is tested today. Okay, so it managed to hold up. So going forward, the next couple of days, uh, just be mindful of the uh, if if right in the event this support uh, breaks, the moving average support breaks. Watch out for the horizontal support at around two five seven two. Yeah, that was the previous uh, low. Okay, now if uh, if this level were to break, I think it is uh, quite a uh, bearish uh, sentiment by then. Yeah, if that support will break, a few reasons. Uh, number one is, uh, of course, that's the horizontal support uh, of the recent low, and of course, for those who like trend lines, yeah, uh, who use trend lines for analysis, uh, particularly, I, I'm not so much of a trend line fan, but uh, for those who does, right, this is what some some of them may be observing, right? Which is uh, previous times there were uh, lows and the lows got higher each time, yeah. Okay, so if the price were to break two five seventy, that means uh, you have broken not only the horizontal support, you have broken the moving average support, you have, you have broken this uh, trend line support as well, right? So all this may you know, uh, or the bar the sellers who are using all these ideas uh, may come in to the market that cause the uh, bearishness. All right, so uh, going forward, watch out for all this, uh, all this level. Okay, uh, but if you do fall, uh, when it comes to below two thousand five, uh, near to two four eight eight, yeah, there is this uh, gap support. Okay, so that's the only saving grace that may have some bounce from here. Okay, so uh, yeah, watch out for all these key levels. So we discuss them uh, as it progresses, right? Just be mindful. Uh, one more thing to add is, uh, you know, there was this higher high as it goes higher. Then when there was a bounce, right? Uh, for this bull bull run to be able to sustain, we would like to see this uh, going higher. But it didn't materialize. Yeah, so you, you see the high didn't go higher. In fact, now it's like it's forming a lower high. Okay, so that is uh, the market, sorry, market uh, suggesting right that uh, it's not as bullish as before already. Yeah, so again, uh, some cautious notes on it. Um, you talk about shorting now. If you have to short, it's still pretty much uh, a bit premature, right? Because the trend is still up. All right, just that the strength of the uptrend is uh, significantly weakened. Yeah, so that's what uh, I'm trying to uh, highlight. Yeah. Uh, that's what we can see, right, on the, the market. Okay, so this is uh, as far as the index is concerned. Okay, looking at the stocks, right, um, let's look at the electronic stock. Yeah, so you can look at, uh, say, Venture. Okay, so Venture previously there was a signal. Yeah, so for those who are in, right, based on the uh, support and uptrend, support and signal, uh, you're, you, you, you're still in the trade. Okay, so there is no new signal as of now. Yeah, so probably uh, this is where uh, look up. If you want to take this trade, I think it will be good to wait for uh, a further breakout first and then pull back to the support level. Okay, so as of now, for those who are in trade, just uh, watch your position, right? Uh, 
you can use a trailing stop. So usually trailing stop, you can sell it below the 50 MA support. Yeah, so if the price comes below, that's where you want to exit. Yeah, because that will mean that the support is broken. Okay, so that is a venture. I think I'll just run through all the uh, electronic stocks, all right? Uh, AEM. Okay, so AEM, uh, right now, if you look at the trend, right, you can see 20 above 50 MA. So it's technically uptrend. Uh, the price have came down to support again. Okay, so, uh, but for signal, there is now only three rig. Yeah, so there's no green yet. Uh, but going forward, right, even if there's a green or even if there's a MACD signal, uh, I just want to point out that uh, the high of about 336 has been rejected again. All right, so previously rejected, right, in uh, early May, then early June, now early July, tested again. So it seems like every beginning of the month. Okay, so which also means that uh, avoid taking uh, any trade unless it's able to break out of 336 okay so the market has shown to reject the price of 336 so i think you we, we need to wait for a breakout okay so even if you do not like a breakout trade you need uh, at least let it break out first and then wait for the subsequent uh pullback if there is any yeah so if there's any pullback so by then the 20 and 50 ma can uh, lend you the support as well all right so for AEM, right, those who are waiting to enter, you if you're looking up for trading signal, uh, be cautious now because uh, I think this is the third rejection already. Yeah, so this resistance uh, appears to be pretty strong. Okay, so that is uh, AEM. Uh, for UMS, all right, UMS, okay, it's still fine. Okay, so now it's uh, pulling back to test support. Uh, so you have uh, three red already. So we're waiting for the four red. Yeah, and then finally the green. Yeah, something like here. Right, so you have the trend, you have the support of the 20 MA, you have four reds at least, right? And then this is the green. Okay, so this is the green day. So it's the same thing uh, now. Now there are three reds. Right? You wait for the fourth red. Okay, provided all your support is still holding. Yeah, so which means if you were to see the four red one green, uh, the price must still be at the 20 and 50 MA support. Okay, if the price starts to fall lower, lower than the 20 and 50 MA support, then yes, the price is here and then your signal shows the 481 green, uh, then that is not a good trade because the trend, uh, the support is broken already. Okay, so there's a UMS. So UMS, uh, you could still be watching out for it. Uh, it's still on the uptrend and it's pulled back to test support. So the only question is whether this support will hold so that's why we are looking down here for MACD for red one green. Yeah, so as of now, it's considered only three consecutive red. Yeah, we need at least four. Yeah, like here. Okay, that was in the mid of June, at least four red and then the green. That's, with, that's our signal. Okay, and next is high P. All right, so previously, high P, there was a breakout, a sharp rally. Okay, said so those who miss it say, uh, we, we said wait for the pullback, all right? So uh, the, now it's pulling back. So for those who are wanting to enter again, so this is the opportunity. So wait for it to pull back to the 20 and 50 MA support. It could be tomorrow, it could be next week. Yeah, so let's see when it comes into this 20 and 50 MA resist, uh, support zone, all right? So if you have to pull back, all right, there's this uh, previous resistance broken, about 118, yeah, resistance broken, it may turn support. Yeah, so can you imagine if you were to pull back and it is around here, so there could be a confluence of support. Yeah, so which means the price could be here, it could be testing. Yeah, so at the confluence of support, uh, that means it's a 118, right, 118 is a horizontal support. It's price uh, resistance broken, test as support. And at the same time, the 20 and 50 MA support. Yeah, so it's a confluence of support. So when it reaches the support, then we start looking down. Yeah, look for at least four red. Right now, it's only at two red. So we need at least four red and then the green and see whether you can bounce off from this uh, support. Okay. But uh, of course, uh, if you're watching it and then if it happens to fall and then it breaks the support, right? then this is where we will have to discard this stock. Yeah, no longer in the watch list. The trend will have been broken. Okay, so that's high P. 
right? Something that uh, we've been waiting for, a pullback. Yeah, so now it's coming, it's much more nearer to the support, right? Than previously, yeah, when it broke up. Okay. Okay, the other stock that we previously have been talking is, uh, besides Venture, is Wilma. Yeah, so Wilma, uh, the last signal at that time was around here. All right, so that was in the mid of June. So anyone who was in, you should be still in, right? As the price tries to inch higher. Uh, one thing to note is uh, this resistance, right? Uh, around 428. So it's tested again uh, yesterday, right? So it's not been able to go since uh, last week. It has been testing 428, pumping it. Yeah, if you, it could break out, then there's a chance of it going higher. Yeah, but it's not. So you can see it's a multi-year high. Yeah, so this is a significant uh, resistance. Uh, not so much significant as in it will resist. Yeah, significant as in if you were to break out, the potential of going higher uh, is great. Okay. Uh, so for anyone who have entered previously mid of June, right, and then you're thinking of taking profit, right? uh, it's not wrong to think of it that way. But uh, you just have to look at it. Your profit is only eight percent. Huh? All right. I mean, of course, if you say eight percent is fine, then yeah, that's where you can lock in your profit or take partial profit. Okay. Um, for those who are not in yet, then you. I think you have to wait for it to break out and then wait for the subsequent pullback. All right, so this is uh, Wilma. Uh, as of now, it hasn't come back to support at all and it's now resisted by this uh, 428, right? Tested in beginning of the year and testing again uh, since last week. Okay, so this is uh, Wilma. Okay, looking at the banks, right? So last week we talked about the banks, right? They bounce off the support, yeah. But unfortunately, it's uh, it's still above the support level, right? Just that it it, it hasn't have the uh, momentum, yeah. So we we're hoping that it could have a stronger upwards momentum to carry on this uh, trend. Okay, but it appears that the, the market is not as uh, bullish. Okay, so now the key would be still the same. So if you have entered here, right? Last week the signal was over here. Okay, four red, one green, bounce off support. So you can enter the trade, your stop loss you will have set beneath the 50 MA, isn't it? Okay, now the profit right now as it's gone up is not significant. So you have taken the trade, most likely uh, if you're in, you should be around at 21, 20, yeah, or 21, 10, anything above 21 because the signal's high was the 20, 99. So if, you're, if you took the trade about 21, 10, yeah, your profit was at best, Right, it went up to about four and a half percent, less than less than five percent. Yeah, so uh, there's no trailing stop to talk about. Yeah, so still we'll stick to that stop loss. Yeah, anyway, the stop loss is a small one, so if it come down, it's, it's around five six percent. All right. So give it a chance. Uh, it could still potentially go higher. Yeah, so my point is, if you're already in the trade, yeah. So do not just exit because you feel uh, that the market is weak. Yeah, the market is weak, but venture still goes up. Uh, Wilma continues to go up. Okay, so for those who are in this already in the banks, uh, stick to your exit plan, your stop loss. Okay, same for the others, other bank, right? OCBC, same thing. So today it basically uh, has the 20 MA support again. Right? No signal to enter. Okay, so there's, there's basically not much of a entry opportunity yeah as uh, uh, buying opportunity okay UOB same as well all right so it's pretty much uh, similar in all the three banks okay so they're not able to uh, go higher but the support is still holding okay okay let's look at Kofu all right so Kofu, uh, previously there was a signal to enter, all right. So you have, if you have entered, then of course you stick to your uh, cut loss plan, right? Your stop loss. Uh, but for those who are not in yet and you're looking to enter, all right. So it's now three red, so you can basically look for a green because technically we are still at the support level, yeah, for Kofu. Okay, so we can still uh, watch out for a signal here. Okay, for those who are in, then of course you are still sticking to the plan, right? If it comes down, you're going to cut loss. Yeah, so that was your original plan for Kofu. Okay, next, Sengxiong. 
Yeah, so Seng Siong, we've been waiting for it to uh, pull back. So the previous trade, uh, it's not a, a signal per se, but it has a breakout, right? So if you see a 157 breakout, 158. So that was the day of the breakout. Okay. Uh, but for those who didn't take the breakout, then you wait for pullback. So that's something uh, we all have been waiting as well. Yeah, so, but it's uh, taking some time. Now it's about two weeks plus rate. But ultimately, we want to see this support holding. All right, between the 20 and 50 MA. Yeah, if the pullback comes uh, down to, you know, if the pullback comes down all the way to even 157, right, it could be uh, a confluence of support again. Yeah, so which means that is this uh, uh, resistance broken, 157, turn support, 157, and the 20 and 50 MA support. Okay, so it's already all red. All right, so we got to watch out if you to come down to this support level, right, it could be tomorrow, it could be a few days later. Yeah, once it comes down to it, uh, look out for the green. Yeah, then that would be the uh, signal for this uh, uptrend to continue. Okay, it has broken past the historical high. Yeah, so let's see how far uh, this supermarket stock right can take us. All right. Okay, let me talk about uh, the two telcos. <laughs> okay, so the two telcos, uh, someone has been asking about it, but as you can see, the trend uh, remains down. So unlike the other stocks on the uptrend, the telcos are on the defensive, uh, or rather bearish. Yeah. So okay, so this uh, on the downtrend. So despite having all these five Gs uh, license, uh, uh, since the market is not ready to, uh, right. Uh, take it up yet okay so it's still a downtrend stock so don't try to be uh, buying it yet okay let's look at the brother okay very similar right okay so they are on the downtrend 20 ma below 50 ma so definitely not a stock to look at too long uh, another stock that's on the downtrend will be the sia all right so previously uh no someone was asking about shorting sia yeah, so for SIA, if you want to short, then the candle will be, this is the signal, right? Because this is the day where you have the red, okay, after consecutive green. Okay, so it's a downtrend stock. The price went up to test the support, uh, the resistance. Yeah, so you want to short, you look for the price to touch the resistance. And then you start to look at MACD. Okay, so MACD has one green, two green, three, four, at least four green. So had the next uh, day be red, uh, that will be the stick. Okay, but the day that was red was on this day. Okay, last week. So if that is the the, the signal day, which is red, so your entry would be one bit below it. Yeah, one bit below it. So the low is uh, 380. So you're looking at least 379. Huh? Cut loss, set it above your 50 MA. So you can set your cut loss, say 405. There about, yeah. Okay, so the next day, so that was yes, uh, yesterday, and this is today, right? So it's, been, it's coming down. Uh, so again, the trend, let the trend uh, continue. So the immediate support be here at around 353. All right, so so if you are shorted at 379, uh, all right, that is the entry point. 379 is the entry that was uh, yesterday. So right down to this immediate uh, support will be. 353. Uh, if you are very bearish, then I think you could hold on even further, right? Let the 50 and 28 may be the trailing stop, right? To try and maximize this uh, profit for for SIA continue going down. Yeah, because as we can see, uh, the tourism and uh, aviation industry is not going to recover as quickly as uh, everybody would like. Yeah, so this is a short thing. Watch for it at 353. If you were to break 353, then you have lots more downside. Okay, because the last time it went below that was before the year 2000. Okay, so that is a 353 is a very significant level. Let me just go back to where it was. Can you see over here? Let me zoom in. You see the where's uh, that's where the arrow, the line was drawn. 353. So that was in the year 2001. And then if I go back anywhere below it, yeah, so that is below, uh, be, before the year 2000. Okay, so SIA is 
at one of its worst time and if you're shorting the stock i think try to uh, uh hold on to it yeah hold on to your short position yeah for those who initiated the shot uh, yesterday all right okay so uh yeah like last week not many trading opportunity which i think that is good in a sense that we are following the market yeah so the market is not able to make some make any uh definitive uh trend yeah so we we stick to it the two trends that are still very strong will be venture and wilma all right okay so just uh, take note of that high p wait for the pullback aem there's a triple top before the breakout all right sing xiong wait for pullback to support kofu wait for a trading signal all right Okay, so uh, yeah, so that's the session for today. Uh, if you have any questions, just put it in the comments and like and share this video to your friends for if your friends would like to know how to short SIA. Yeah, should I share this point right where SIA could be shorted at three seven nine. Right. So if not, uh, take care and have a good evening.